Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, we're looking at performing an if statement within a range of cells. So we want to find out whether Bob appears anywhere in this list. I'm also going to look at a numeric example where we look to see if any of these values have met this threshold. Let's start with the text example. Now, there's two ways I'm going to do this. First of all, we've got to devise a logical text. So we'll start with the match function. Match will return the position of a value within a range. My lookup value would be Bob, comma. My lookup array is this list, and I want to do an exact match. So that's zero. Press enter. That returns a numeric value, the position of the value within the range. If I type Keith in, I get an NA value, so I wouldn't get a numeric value. Now, the fact that I get a numeric value if it's found is the important thing. I can then return true or false with the isNumber function. isNumber will return true if the value supply is a numeric value, otherwise it returns false. isNumber match. If I type Keith in, I get false. Let's put Bob back in. Then that's my logical test on my if. And then I can say, yes, he attended. There is a number. Otherwise, no. Keith gets a no. So that's using match to return a number. The other way to do it is use count if. So I could say in this range, Count how many times Bob appears. I'm not actually interested in how many times he appears, but I'd get a number above zero if he appeared at all. So my test would be, is this greater than zero? True. So if this is greater than zero, return a yes. Otherwise return no. Bob gets a yes, Keith gets a no. That's how we can do it with text values. Numeric values, I'd use count if for this one. Count if, range. My criteria is going to be, is it greater than or equal to 750? So I'm looking to see if any of these values have met this threshold. Put the comparison operator greater than or equal to in quotation marks, and then I need to concatenate the ampersand symbol, the comparison operator with this cell reference. It contains the 750. Press enter. So two values have met the threshold. Again, I'm not interested in how many values have met the threshold, just whether any have. What I can then say is this greater than zero. That's my test, so true. If I took this up to 800, get a false, no values exceed or equal 800. Let's put it back to 750. So this is my logical test. If this test is met, return yes. Otherwise, return no. Take it up to 800. I get a no. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.